What was that? Yo. Hmm? Hey, do you know what time it is? to you too. Kume-san, right? Sorry to barge in like this, but I wanted to see if our buddy was here. You... How did you know? Yo, Ichiban. Hey, I knew you'd find a decent place to hide. Hey man, we gotta hurry. The Ejing Three sent Liu Mang assassins after you. The Liu Mang? Not Komiju? Hmm... Is it just you three? No backup? Just us, sorry to say. I see. And you have business with Nambasan? Yeah. And who are you? I haven't seen you around. <laughs> and here I thought people were watching more TV these days. Oh. I know you. You're the director of Bleach Japan. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen you on TV. My name is Ogasawara. I'm here lending my support to our Yokohama branch. The Grey Zone in Ijincho is one of the worst in the country. The police have just given up on it. But still, I never expected to find this. Counterfeiting legal currency? <laughs> Atrocious. So Namba spilled the beans, huh? Let's not mess around. You guys need to get out of here, now. We'll even go with you if it'll help you escape. That includes you, Namba. Kasuga, was this your plan all along? <laughs> Why exactly do I need to turn and run? It's not just the Komichu who are involved. The heads of the Seiryu clan and Yokohama Liumang are in on it. They sent the assassins after Namba because he knows their secret. You're screwed if you're here too, civilian or not. Ogasawara-san! I think this guy's bluffing with all the assassin talk. He's just trying to ruffle some feathers. No need to panic. No. I think he's telling the truth. What? 
To be honest, I thought you might be assassins yourselves. But not once you said it was just you three. That's not great wall of muscle strength. Um, I don't get it. Aren't assassins supposed to be in small groups? Oh dear, dear Kumekun. You have so much to learn about these criminals. But ignorance often breeds courage, and that's what I needed in the Eugene Cho arm of Bleach Japan. That's... Uh... Ogasawara-san, what are you getting at? No kidding. You sure you're a civilian? <laughs> of course I am. I just know more about the criminal underworld than your average dipshit. What is with this guy? I think it's about time you come out. Lao Ma! Lao Ma? Mabuchi, why are you here? I'll handle this, Director. Thank you. My service is customer satisfaction guaranteed. Then we'll take our leave. Let's go. Hey, Namba, wait! I already told them all about the counterfeit bills. I just want to find my brother. Whether he's alive or otherwise. Um, Ogasawara-san, what about me? Mabuchi. <laughs> Give this simpering piece of human garbage a fitting end. Didn't think this is where I'd finally see your mug. No, of course not. My own boss doesn't know I'm here. That said, I did want to meet you. I haven't been able to give you a message from Nonomiya! Slice them up however you want. Come on now! Come I'm up! I'm not backing down. Thank you. Who finally made an appearance? What the hell is up with that spear thing? I've seen it before. On a statue of Guan Yu, it's a legendary Chinese weapon. So, Mabuchi puts himself on a level with ancient Chinese heroes? If he does, he's in for a rude awakening when I break his little stick! Right. 
This ought to help. Cool. Don't get cocky. You're gonna be in Come a on now. You're gonna get stomped. I'm up. I got this. Go in here. Do my spear. She's getting serious now. Yeah, I think he's in a bad mood. Is that literally fire coming out of him? That's your gamer brain talking again. But fire or not, oh, he's angry as hell. No problem. 
Let's just deal with them. Cool. Come up. Here we go. Go. I'm not back down. Take it. Appreciate it. Pain in the ass. Let's go. Right. I'm ready now. You're gonna get stomped. Cool. Get alive. You're not scared of my spear, are ya? Get alive! Let's go! You're in it now! Get alive! 
Good. You can still talk. Hell? Are you enjoying this, you creep? Are you the one who killed our boss? I am. And I did. I slaughtered him. And hung him like a pig on a hook. Well, to start a fight with the Seiryu clan? <laughs> As they say... I was just following orders. Who told you to pull this kind of shit? The man you just allowed to escape. The director of Bleach Japan. Ogasawara. He's the one who ordered you to kill Nonomiya? Why would he do that? <laughs> because what he's after is Ijincho itself. What's he on about? <clears throat> He wants to expose where Yutaka Ogikubo gets all his money. <sighs> to do that, he had to put just a tiny crack in the Great Wall. <laughs> a crack? You mean Nonomiya's death? I don't get it. Ogasawara ordered a hit so he could get rid of the Grey Zone? <laughs> He's a Bleach Japan guy? I thought they were a bunch of goody two-shoes! My question is, why would you do their bidding, Mabuchi? Why do something that would turn the Ejin 3 against you? <sighs> Ogasawara has bigger, badder friends than the Ejin Fleas. What do you mean? <sighs> the Great Wall. The Ejin 3. That's all over. The invasion starts tomorrow. Invasion? My Bleach Japan? No. <laughs> you still don't get it? Come on, Kasuga. What? The backers of Bleach Japan are the Omi Alliance in Kamurocho. Are you shitting me? I'm going to be Jincho's version of Masumi Arakawa. I'll sell this whole town to the Omi, and get rewarded handsomely for it. <laughs> They'll probably make me an officer. It's what I- <laughs> Don't ever compare yourself to Arakawa-san again. <laughs> Guys, if the Omi Alliance is coming here... Yeah, about that. Let's go get that bastard Ogasawara to give us the lowdown. Well, he and Namba went into that back room over there. Yeah, I saw. Let's go find him. Ogasawara's gone. 
He went out an exit further back. Namba? Bleach Japan is gonna blow the lid off the counterfeiting scheme, which will crush the Gomi Jewel. Maybe, just maybe, they'll find my brother too. Nanchan. If only I could have done it myself. No one's ever meant more to me than my brother. Look at the life I've endured to try to find him. Did you see which way Yogasawara went? You really should steer clear of this mess, Ichiban. I just want to have some words. Stay out of it. Just stay out of it, man! Hey, you need to just focus on yourself right now. You've got assassins after you. Just find somewhere to hide. At least until tomorrow. Mabuchi told us the Omi Alliance is coming tomorrow. They're invading. It'll be chaos. That's your chance to slip away, you get me? Can you do that? I didn't ask for your advice. Look, Nanchan, as much as this sucks for you, can you please think about the rest of us too? Shut up! Think about what Mabuchi and Ogasawara did. They murdered Nonomiya out of pure greed. I know. But I need their help to find my brother. <sighs> Really? You're just leaving? Wanna stop me? Go for it. Hell, attack me from behind, I don't care. You know we'd never pull that kind of shit. Don't be stupid, man. We're still buds. Ugh, don't say that shit. <clears throat> Ichiban. I know how this crap feels, but we don't have time for it. Let's focus on the task at hand, searching this Bleach Japan office. I think it's back there, and this is our chance. No one's around. Yeah, you're right. What's up? Uh, this picture. What about it? The guy shaking hands with Ogasawara. I know him. Yeah, that's Ryo Aoki, the governor. That's back when he was younger, and considering the backdrop there, probably around the time he and Ogasawara started Bleach Japan together. Aoki had to leave his post in order to run for governor, though. He's governor? He's supposed to be dead. Huh? In Kamrocho. Someone told me he died. I thought it was true. Well, I don't follow. You know Ryo Aoki? Not Aoki. Mm -hmm. I know him as... Masato Arakawa. Sir. During next week's budget deliberations, the opposition party is going to fight you tooth and nail. Those fossils pushing for highway funding. It sounds like they're strongly against the infrastructure cuts. I imagine it's going to be a long fight. But you do have an appearance scheduled for that evening. Should I cancel it, or maybe try to reschedule? I have an appearance? Oh, yeah. Isn't this the one for that newspaper? They invited a bunch of kids to that, I thought. Yes, sir. Let's not cancel it, then. Wouldn't it look bad? I'm sure those parents have spared no expense making sure their children look presentable for an occasion like this, right? I'm sure, but... It'll be fine. I'm gonna run circles around those windbags and we'll have deliberations wrapped up in no time. We can't disappoint the children, can we? Understood, sir. We'll hold the appearance as scheduled. Hmm. 
You know what? Why don't you call it a night? Good night, then. It took us a while. Good news, I hope. I finally found it. The party chair's secret weapon. Turns out it was on the other side of the Great Wall of Muscle this whole time. Hmm. <laughs> Go figure. If you have any of our visitors from Kansai you can spare, I could use the extra hands. <laughs> That's fine. We're already more than well-staffed in Tokyo. I'm willing to send you all the manpower you'll need. Let's see... this probably has some juicy details. Ryu Aoki, current governor of Tokyo, age 42. That's even the same age as the young master. Don't freak out. Maybe it's all a coincidence. Hmm. Says Aoki was a shut-in until he was 20. Then he suddenly took off for America. He took political econ courses at Harvard, where he became close friends with Hajime Ogasawara. Then they came back to Japan. You know, I think they founded Bleach Japan that year. Maybe by then he was already making all his shadowy plans. Ugh. Bleach Japan's agenda is hardly shadowy. In fact, it was pretty damn heartwarming for lots of folks. Seeing those youngsters demand decency, and Aoki's popularity skyrocketed. He was on magazine covers, on TV. He was in the public eye every day. Got a gig as a commentator, eventually. That's right, and then he entered politics. He left Ogasawara in charge of Bleach Japan. Looks like he didn't win the governor race by a landslide, exactly. But now his approval rating is 80%. Plus, he's got no political enemies. Life's good for him. Are there any articles that say he has another name? That's what I want to know. I don't see anything like that. But I still think you're jumping to conclusions. I wouldn't write off what Kasuga's saying, though. There's a lot of stuff that'd make perfect sense if it turned out Masato Arakawa is the governor. Yeah? Like what? Like his sudden gain in political support that I was just talking about. That was all because he destroyed the Tojo clan with his Kamurocho 3K plan. Was that the plan to wipe out all the Yakuza? Yeah. After he rolled it out, the Tojo officers vanished from the city like so much smoke in the wind. Vanished? Yeah. I mean, they probably just fled the city out of panic. They knew they were on the verge of getting busted. The 3K plan enacted a bunch of new anti-Yakuza laws. The cops had a smorgasbord of violations to pick from. They could have booked the whole damn Tojo clan. So yeah, I assume the officers skipped town when they saw the cloud of charges hovering over them. Definitely sounds like they were backed into a corner. Right. Although it wasn't really the 3K plan itself that made them feel trapped. It was more because the Tojo's internal affairs got leaked to the police. And I'd bet my life the guy who leaked it was Masumi Arakawa. <gasps> you think the patriarch of the Arakawa family colluded with the governor? Well, if the governor is Masato like Kasuga thinks, then it's all in the family. <laughs> Forget collusion. That's just plain nepotism. Hey, it would also give Arakawa a reason to betray his clan. He was more loyal to his son than he was to the Tojo clan. Most men would be. Most men, yes, but not Arakawa-san. Well, if you say so, but you have to admit, my theory makes sense. Arakawa is human, 
And what's more human than wanting the best for your child? Parents, even Yakuza parents, will do anything for their kids. <sighs> One thing I don't get, how did the young master hide his past? A Yakuza can't become governor. Well, maybe he bought a family register. You can just buy one? Yep. It's easier to create a fictional person than you think. Yeah. Doctor up a photo, slap on a false name, and file a fake official register. I mean, you can get by on that for a good while. As long as no one takes a deep look at your file, of course. Otherwise, it falls apart real quick. Well, of course it does, if it's all lies. Right, but... If you altered an existing register, instead of making one from scratch, the lies wouldn't be so obvious. Now, I'm thinking there was probably an actual shut-in named Ryo Aoki. Masato bought or stole Aoki's family register and is impersonating him. Is taking someone else's family register really that simple? I never said it was simple, but it is possible, especially if you've got money or the right connections. Don't you think, Kasuga? The young master would have had the money and connections to do it. So yeah, I can see it. But why would he go to all that trouble? To hide his Yakuza background, so he could be governor. The public would never accept a politician with Yakuza roots. Ichiban, who told you that Masato was dead? One of my senpai from middle school, back in Kamurocho. It was just the other day, actually. Maybe the Arakawa family started spreading that rumor around themselves. Hold on! Hold the hell on! What? What is it? The young master couldn't walk. He used a wheelchair. The governor can walk. Oh, then they can't be the same person. How could he hide a disability like that? Well, the article said Aoki studied abroad in the U.S., right? Maybe he got surgery there. No, the doctor said he was wheelchair-bound for life. Well, maybe here in Japan that's true. But sometimes you can get procedures done in the U.S. that uh, aren't available here. Hey, who's the guy who looks like there's a stick up his ass? That's the police commissioner, Orinouchi. Oh, your eternal rival. <laughs> I think I've seen him before. What? Sometime before I went to prison, uh, but when was it? No, oh, right! I saw him at a cabaret club I took the young master to. Yeah, Horino Uchi was this dude that the young master's favorite girl was in love with. Ah, so the governor and the police commissioner used to be rivals in love. Bet that made for a awkward meeting. Yeah, I'm sure they remember each other, especially if Ichiban does. I wonder what all went down. Damn, Kamroch is looking like a pretty big piece of the puzzle now. But I can't really put it all together yet. Confusing ass mess. Well, uh, no point in dwelling on it right now. Let's call it a day. I'm beat. But guys, remember what Mabuchi said? The Omi Alliance is going to invade. You can sleep after hearing that? Hell yeah. <laughs> it's not like we can do anything about it when we're tired. Good point. Let's head back and hit the hay. We don't even need to head back. Huh? Hey, Barkeep. Remember when I asked you about that room on the second floor? Oh yeah, I cleaned it up for you. It's all yours. <laughs> nice. Thanks. What room? There's some vacant space on the second floor. Right, they're using it for storage right now, but I asked if we could use it as a hideout. I mean, your place definitely has its mood and all, but it was uh, getting kind of cramped. Here we'll have more room. Plus, at night, we can drink down here and then just stumble up to bed. How's that for convenience? Uh, yeah, it is great, but 
You sure you're okay with this, pal? Yeah. Whatever. Room wasn't being used for anything, so it's no skin off my nose. Besides, I don't know how, but I heard you're fighting for the people of this town. Well, I'm not so desperate that I can't offer a shabby old room to a hero and his party. Wow, dude. Thanks! We'll keep the room as neat as you keep your bourbon. Hmm. <laughs> Smooth. <laughs> wow. Enough with the whiskey puns, you two. You will drive me to drink! <laughs> hey, if you don't like my jokes, you can forget about using the rum. <laughs> Damn!